What is up everyone, this is MoGaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to get a replacement PlayStation 5 controller with a stick drift issue. So, if you're wondering like what this is, a stick drift issue is when your analog stick kind of starts to like drift to the side or your character starts to drift automatically without you touching it. And this is an issue that can happen with a lot of wear and tear and old controllers, but something like a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X that just came out should not be happening. So, PlayStation's DualSense 5 controller, DualShock 5 controller, whatever, has been happening this has, issue has been actually happening continuously and Sony is doing a lot of repairs. So I did make a video on how to do the troubleshooting yourself. If you want to check that out first before you're actually losing your controller for a while, I'd recommend you to check that out. I will leave a video a link in the description below and pin it in the comments. Um, if you've already tried that or you tried it from someone else or yourself figured it out uh, and you're still running into issues, I'm going to kind of show you what you can do to get a replacement. Now, the first thing is this is something Sony's going to make you do as well so you can kind of do it ahead of the game is I, I'll, leave, I'll leave links for the description for all of these what you can do is you can kind of like do this troubleshooting section and follow these guidelines that says like oh what is happening you can just like answer the questions you can say what's happening you can say like it's something else or you can kind of tell them what the issue is you can either just do it from here send a message and they'll kind of tell you like what's going on or you can go back a question you can just say oh it's a button analog stick it's an analog stick problem they're unresponsive. I don't know. You can like kind of like walk it through over here. It'll give you like a quick guide on like just testing certain things out. And if it obviously still doesn't work, which is the whole point, <laughs> you, you can then go to the next page, which is the contact us page. This is where you can do one of two things. You can either tweet at them, which I don't think is that helpful or responsive. At least they're not to me. You can chat with them. I will leave a link for the chat box or call them, which is the highly preferable method. Now, what you're going to do is when you call them, there's a couple of numbers. This is one of them, which is 800-345, Sony, which is 7669. Uh, if you give them a call, you're going to press option one and then one again. This is to kind of like help expedite it you know, kind of go forward real quickly without waiting and for like them to finish saying what they say. Um, and hopefully that hasn't changed yet. So that does work. Um, once that's done, they're going to ask you a couple of questions and it's basically going to be what, like I made a video, like is your PlayStation 5 controller up to date and your console? Did you reset the controller? Did you reconnect and disconnect the Bluetooth? Did you adjust the triggers? Did you clean the analog stick? Did you do anything to it? Did you blah, blah, blah. Just say, you can say generic things like, Hey, I just got a console like a month or two ago. I'm trying to play COD or Fortnite. The controller or the character is just drifting for no reason at all. I did not do anything at all. Could you please give me uh whatever like a replacement controller so it just comes some so that's basically what's going to happen once you kind of tell them that spiel and like tell them like i tried all those things it's not working they're gonna have there's, there's this, some key things to know they're gonna basically tell you you're gonna have to provide your own box and cost of shipping to send in the controller which kind of sucks for the console they don't do that they send you the box hopefully that's not the case for everyone this is what i've heard from my doing some research online that's what normally ends up happening if the controller gets like lost or misplaced in the shipping or whatever from either or they will replace it to you as long as you can like prove it you sent it to the right box which is very easy to do as long as the shipping label has like the actual address and everything that's so you'll be good to go just don't make sure don't throw the rip, shipping receipt out of the window or something make sure you have it um so yeah what, what they're gonna do is they're gonna get it it's gonna take them like seven to ten days i know that's a long time to repair said controller so it's going to take time first to get there once it gets it they're going to try to repair it they're not actually going to give you a new one they will try to repair it if they can't fix it and there's a legitimate issue in the controller then they will send you a replacement controller so that's what was happening with playstation 5 consoles as well where they were saying we'll repair it but they actually just sent a new console and then they you they you return the old one i'm assuming they fixed the old one and then sold it to someone um or resold it i i'm unsure what they were doing that but that's what they were doing with the console. I haven't heard that happening with the controller. I've heard people just sending it, waiting for it to come back, and it comes back. Now, the, the times I gave you is standard times. It can be faster, it can be longer. So again, it's gonna matter on where you live, where you are, how much uh, load of controllers are getting, how bad this issue is getting. I have three controllers so far. I have not had this issue, which is weird, but uh, I thought I would honestly, I, like my console was screwed. I, I told you my console got bricked day one. I had to like, I did some crazy things for like, two hours to fix it. Made a whole video on how to do that. So hopefully it's not a long issue, but if, if it's or, or a huge issue, but hopefully if, if it is sadly, then, you know, hopefully you can follow these steps and kind of you know, just go from there and get a result. So yeah, 
Uh, that's basically what you guys can do uh, to get a resolve in text. Uh, if you guys still have any comments, questions, concerns, just let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. If you overall like this video, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that, mugging me out. Peace.